Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Hamster and we have our friends Byra and Rango here with us. You guys are so much fun to have around. Okay, with your help, Byra and Rango, we're going to learn something new. It's called multiplication. Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. I'm sure you remember what is addition. Now, Multiplication is adding with the same numbers. Let's start with some stuff. Byra, you're going to get me two apples first. Okay, let's put them on this table here. Now, get me two more apples. Thank you. Let's put these apples on this table again. Shall we add them to see how many we have? That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. We already know if we add 2 and 2, we get 4. We can say we had 2 times 2 apples. Take a look here on the table. First, we had 2 apples. That's one set of 2 apples. Then, we had 2 more apples. That's the second set of 2 apples. So, we can call this as 2 sets of 2 apples or 2 times 2 apples. Looking at this way, we can say 1 times 2 apples is 2 and 2 times 2 apples is 4. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's apple or any other thing. 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. This is what we call as multiplication. We have an X sign for multiplication and we see an X we say times. Take a look. That's 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. Let's keep going. We add more apples, two at a time. That's two more apples. We had four already. This will be five and six. Three times two is six. Let's add two more. We had six earlier. This will be seven and eight. Four times two is eight. Let's add two more. We had eight earlier. This will be 9 and 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Let's add 2 more. This will be 11 and 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Let's add 2 more. That will be 13 and 14. 7 times 2 is 14. Let's add 2 more. This will be 15 and 16. 8 times 2 is 16. Let's add 2 more. This will be 17 and 18. 9 times 2 is 18. Let's add 2 more. This will be 19 and 20. 10 times 2 is 20. That's a lot of apples. Let's do the tables now. Take a look. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12. 7 times 2 is 14. 8 times 2 is 16. 9 times 2 is 18. And 10. Get me those bananas. Rango, get me three bananas first. Okay, let's put them on this table here. Now, let's get three more bananas. Thank you. Let's put these bananas on this table again. Shall we add them to see how many we have? That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And that's six. We already know if we add 3 and 3, we get 6. We can say we had 2 times 3 bananas. Take a look at the table. First, we had 3 bananas. That's one set of 3 bananas. Then, we had 3 more bananas. That's the second set of 3 bananas. So, we can call this as 2 sets of 3 bananas or 2 times 3 bananas. Looking at this way, we can say 1 times 3 bananas is 3, 
and two times three bananas is six. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's bananas or any other thing. One times three is three, and two times three is six. We add more bananas, three at a time. That's three more bananas. We had six already. This will be seven, eight, and nine. Three times three is nine. Let's add three more. We had nine earlier. This will be 10, 11, and 12. Four times three is 12. Let's add three more. We had 12 earlier. This will be 13, 14, and 15. Five times three is 15. Let's add three more. We had 15 earlier. This will be 16, 17, and 18. Six times three is 18. Let's add three more. This will be 19, 20, and 21. Seven times three is 21. Let's add three more then. This will be 22, 23, and 24. Eight times three is 24. Okay, why do we stop here? Let's add three more. That will be 25, 26, and 27. Nine times three is 27. Let's add three more one last time. This will be 28, 29, and 30. 10 times three is 30. Oh yeah, that's a lot of bananas. Let's do the tables now. Take a look. One times three is three. Two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Four times three is twelve. Five times three is fifteen. Six times three is eighteen. Seven times three is twenty-one. Eight times three is twenty-four. Nine times three is twenty-seven. And ten times three is thirty. That's all we have on basic multiplication. We move to a higher level multiplication in our next video. Basic multiplication level 2. Welcome everybody. I'm Mr. Hopster and we have our friends Vaira and Rangu here with us. You guys are so much fun to be around. Six, we can write this as 2 times 6 is 12. 
what if we add the third set of six rubber ducks? Then we will start counting after 12. Let's do that. That'll be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. For the third set of six, we can write it as three times six is 18. Let's add the fourth set of six rubber ducks. Then we'll start counting after 18. Let's do that. That'll be 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. For the fourth set of six, we can write it as 4 times 6 is 24. Let's add the fifth set of six rubber ducks. Then we'll start counting after 24. Let's do that. That'll be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. For the fifth set of six, we can write it as 5 times 6 is 30. This table of six will keep going as 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 6 is 42, 8 times 6 is 48, 9 times 6 is 54, and 10 times 6 is 60. We call this table as multiplication table for 6. Byron Rangu, are you ready for one more? Okay, this time we'll use toy trains. Watch closely at the table. I have seven toy trains here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm now going to put another set of seven more toy trains. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What if we add these two sets of seven toy trains? Then we'll have to count the second set, starting after seven. Let's do that. That'll be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. We can say two sets of seven toy trains is fourteen, or two times seven toy trains is fourteen. I hope you got it. Let me try to explain it this way. We had one set of seven toy trains earlier and we added to it another set of seven toy trains. That's two sets of seven toy trains which is 14. For the first set of seven, we can write this as one times seven is seven. For the second set of seven, we can write this as two times seven is 14. What if we add the third set of seven toy trains? Then we'll start counting after 14. Let's do that. That'll be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. For the third set of seven, we can write it as three times seven is 21. Let's add the fourth set of seven toy trains. Then we'll start counting after 21. Let's do that. That'll be 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. For the fourth set of 7, we can write it as 4 times 7 is 28. Let's add the fifth set of 7 toy trains. Then we'll start counting after 28. Let's do that. That'll be 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. For the fifth set of seven, we can write it as five times seven is 35. This table of seven will keep going as six times seven is 42, seven times seven is 49, eight times seven is 56, nine times seven is 63, and finally, 10 times 7 is 70. That's all we have for now. See you soon.